guys welcome back to our channel if you're new here we're the Garso twins I'm Britta and I'm Carly uh, we would love it if you would subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up today we're going to be doing another round of our favorite Amazon picks so let's get into it okay so so many of you guys have been asking us which air fryer we use because we've been raving about our air fryer we definitely got it on Amazon it is called pull it up yeah um <clears throat> it's we well, obviously can't show you, so we'll insert a photo. I know. We'll insert a photo. Um, we just, like, looked up the ones with the best reviews on Amazon. This is by the brand Go Wise USA. So it's their Go Wise USA GW22731 <laughs> Digital Air Fryer. Um, and then we also bought these air fryer liners. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, our air fryer yeah. is um, $84 Which was a really good deal. We found some that were a little bit cheaper, like $60, but they didn't have the best reviews and the quart size was too small. Mm -hmm. Like, we knew we needed something pretty big. Um, and then the Philips one is, like, the one that everyone buys, mm -hmm. but it's over 100 I believe. So, we just wanted something that was a little bit more affordable. Yeah. Um, and the liners are Basego air fryer liners, and I believe they're made with, like, eco-friendly bamboo or something. Yeah, eco FDA 100% natural air fryer liners. And it's $7 for 100 cheap. So yeah, so they just you a long time. They just look like this and they fit in the bottom of ours perfectly. And um, we don't always use them. Sometimes when we really want things to be really crispy, we leave it off. But um, if you want like a really easy cleanup, we definitely recommend getting liners. Yeah, and just to like go over how the air fryer works I know. quickly, I know we don't have it in front of us, but basically, Ours, the one weird thing about it is, like, if it's plugged in, it's on, which is strange. Yeah, they're, I, they do make that clear, though, because I told Britt, I was like, we need to unplug it, it does not turn off. Unless yeah. You, like, even if you press the power button, like, it's on. It's really which weird. Which is really strange, so just note that. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, so basically, like, let's say we're making hash browns, like we did this morning. Mm -hmm. The Trader Joe's hash browns are so good in this. So, um, all you do, well, like, we actually don't use a liner with the hash browns, so let's just say we do. So you take, like, the drawer out, you put a liner down, you put, like, the hash browns in there, you put the drawer back into mm -hmm. the air fryer. Or you can do a little light spray of, like, avocado oil. Yeah, too. Um, and then you put it back into the air fryer, you click the power button, and then, um, like, the left side is the temperature, and on the right side is the time. So, I think we, we do ours at 400, which is the highest temperature mm -hmm. that our machine goes to. So, you just move it up to 400 degrees, and then we would do, like, 12 minutes mm -hmm. for the hash brown. So, it's defaults to 15, I believe, so you just go down to 12, and then you click the power button again, and then it'll beep when it's done. Like, it's literally that easy. And yeah. it's crazy how quick it cooks things. Like, I made um, the Trader Joe's vegetable spring rolls in it yesterday, and on the package, it says in a traditional oven, you have to put it in for 17 minutes mm -hmm. at 400 degrees, and I was able to get them cooked and, like, pretty fried like they were good to go with like 10 minutes so it's like half yeah. the time and somehow even, so like um for the bantam bagels I don't know if you guys love those as much as we do we buy them at Target and we had a couple and one of them was like really freezer burnt but we didn't want to waste them and they tell you have to like defrost them in the microwave and then put them in the oven but they never work out for us like the inside is always really mm -hmm. cold and so I'm like I'm gonna try these in the air fryer I didn't defrost them at all and I think I only cooked them for like six minutes and like the inside was not, it wasn't warm but it wasn't like cold like it is when you put them in the oven and the outside was so crunchy so it's, it's cooked so evenly we don't know what kind of sorcery is involved but yeah. it's the best invention like we use it daily which mm -hmm. is saying so much because you guys know if we use something daily we are going to tell you about it yeah and we're going to not stop talking about it because that's a huge thing it is and our favorite thing to make in it i think we've spoken about this is the trader joe's um saute kits if we've ever made them we love them we have tried them all we love them all um, but our major gripe with them was if you cook them on the stovetop, which is their intended instructions, like, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, well, you have to use, like, a lot of spray oil, first of all, so it doesn't stick to the pan, which is kind of annoying. And then it just never cooks down. Like, if you've tried the soba noodle kit, those, like, green beans, I said what they're called, edamame, what are they called? So soybeans? I don't know. Soybeans? You know what I'm talking about. Um, they, like, always remain hard, and they're, like, a little bit difficult to eat. And so, oh my god, there was a cat. Sorry, there was like a cat um, walking across like in the yard. I just hope it has a home. Anyways, um, and so they like never cook down properly. It's a little bit difficult to eat. And although the flavor is still really good, like it's just, 
like just it's harder it to just eat. Looks like, you're, like very crunchy. Yeah, and so um, we have tried them all in the air fryer, and it is a night and day difference, mm -hmm. especially with the soba noodle kit. Um, so if you're familiar with that one, you have to put the noodles in the microwave to like soften them up. So we'll put the noodles in a bowl with water in the microwave for like three minutes, and then we'll put the rest in the air fryer. I think we did probably five like five minutes. Five minutes at like 370 yeah. or something. Um, and it like cooks it perfectly, and then I just transferred it to a bowl, mix it in with the noodles and the sauce, and you're like good to go. And it's so much better. It's just like everything is cooked more thoroughly, there's more flavor, it's like cooked throughout. You guys, it's so life changing. We've talked about it so long it. now, but it's the best. Mm -hmm. Just go get yourself an air fryer. Do yourself a favor. If you have any questions, like if we're not touching on things and you just think we're rambling, ask those specific questions in the comments below, mm -hmm. and we'll answer them for you. Next up is, of course, a super random favorite. This is the Costco, not Costco, Costco Easy Cut Cutter Knife with Self Retracting Safety Tipped Blade. Uh, it's seven dollars, so it's basically a box cutter. And I needed one of these for work because we get so many packages every day and I just didn't want to use the scissors. I wanted to be safe. And I literally thought this was broken when I first got it. Like if you can tell the blade only comes up a little bit. And I was asking my coworker, like, I think this is defective. I don't think it's working. Like I'm so upset. It got such good reviews. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. She's like, yeah, that's definitely broken. Like it should come up more. But then one day I was like, I'm just going to try it and see if it works. And it, this is, it's supposed to look like this. The whole purpose is that it's a super sharp blade and it's like you can't cut yourself because it only comes up this much but somehow like this can like tear through boxes. I don't know how it works but I love that because I always cut myself on like scissors or anything like dangerous and so this is like basically child proof but it opens boxes effortlessly, envelopes. Um, so then I had to buy one for home. For seven dollars I was like I know it's so random, but we had another box cutter, which we still don't know what happened to that. No. I don't know what happened to it. That we really liked from Target. It was like a normal, like, um, what if I, I think tape? Britta did something with it. She's notorious know. for this. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I bought this one and I prefer it so much more. It's just sharp, efficient. If you're looking for a box cutter, you get a lot of packages, you need this in your life. Okay, next up is kind of like a skincare favorite and it's in my shower and it's a bar soap so I couldn't bring it in here but I'll insert a photo. And it's the Derma Harmony 5% Sulfur 2% Salicylic Acid Bar Soap. Um, it was $7.24 which seems kind of expensive for a bar soap but I got this because I was breaking out a lot on my chest and my upper back and I still don't know why. I don't even know what I was causing it. think it's just winter. It. Like you're wearing like bigger so clothes. Weird. I don't know. Yeah, I have your skin too. like can't breathe. But um, I saw that the Derma Harmony 2% um, salicylic acid, or it was 5% salicylic acid, 10% sulfur got really good reviews, but I have really sensitive skin and I was like, that will destroy my skin. So then I discovered that they had like a light version, which is the 2% salicylic acid, 5% sulfur. And I love both those ingredients. They both work really well for my skin. So I was really excited and I ordered it and it's like cleared up everything basically in a week. And I basically just like, if it's a hair washing day, I'll put, get to the conditioner step, put my hair up, and then apply the soap and let it sit for like, I mean, I don't have a timer in my shower. I wish I did. I yeah, should go into. Yeah. Um, but I let it sit for, I would say like two to three minutes and then I just like rinse it off. And if that seems to do the trick, it's been working awesome. I'll even like some days when I'm breaking out, leave it on my face for that long. And it's still really gentle, even though it's 2% salicylic acid. And like I said, 5% sulfur. And the combination just really works for me. It clears my skin. I'm just really impressed and it worked really well for my body. And a lot of people don't like bar soap, but I feel like it's just like very simple concentrated ingredients. Like there's no like fillers, if you will. So I really love like it and I just wanted to recommend it if you also struggle with like back acne and you need help this stuff is great this is a recent favorite but I want to mention it because from my knowledge you can only get this on Amazon currently and it's so good it's the new CeraVe hydrating sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30 sheer tint um, it has their ceramide blend and niacinamide in it I love this sunscreen so much. Lives up to the name. It is hydrating. It leaves your skin with like the prettiest dewy finish. I love that there's a tint. I feel like in the summer I'm just going to wear this so often like on weekends when I'm running errands because it does help like the tint kind of helps like even out your complexion without wearing makeup. 
Um, and like the finish is just so beautiful. It makes your skin look so supple and healthy. Um, it, there's no white cast at all, even though it's a mineral sunscreen. A little goes a long way. That's one thing I kind of wish it was in different packaging. Um, oh, I, I can swatch it for you actually. So you can kind of see. It's like a little dark, but once you blend it out, it blends out really nicely. Um, but a lot deposits they in this. They really tinted that. I know. Yeah. A lot deposits in this type of packaging and like usually it's more than I need. Um, but it is a good price. I think it's $15. So I feel like I'm still not going to go through it super quickly. Like it's still, you still got 1.7 fluid ounces, which I feel like is pretty normal mm -hmm. for a sunscreen, don't you good. think? So, um, in that regard, like I think it's still fine. I think it's still worth the price. And it's not like I wasted it. I still apply it. I know actually, and to be honest, I know you're supposed to apply so much sunscreen. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure the packaging is meant to like be, apply a lot. I just don't apply too much because I wear it under makeup. And so I don't want it to be like too hydrating, if that makes sense. Um, but it's like probably the best, it's definitely the best tinted sunscreen I've ever tried. Probably the best mineral sunscreen. I still really love the Kula one, but this one is so much more affordable and I just love the added tint and it's hydrating. It, like as it claims, it's so good. We kind of continue on this skincare train. So next up, I have a moisturizer, which I feel like everyone has talked about. Um, I first heard about this from Dr. Dre's YouTube channel. It's the Haba Labo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. And from my understanding, I feel like Amazon is the only place to buy this in the U.S. Um, she always links Amazon, so that's where I bought it. And when I have got it, the package looked a bit rough. Like, it was, like, worn and torn. But, um, I didn't think that it was contaminated or anything. And it seemed to be, like, everyone orders from this, um, from this link that I'll share on Amazon. It's the same link that she shares. But this is a very basic gel cream moisturizer. Um, she talks about in her videos how it's safe for people that get, like, um, what is it called? Rosacea? No, yeah, rosacea, but the type of acne, like fungal acne, mm -hmm. um, it's, like, safe for that. It's just very basic, simple ingredient lists. Um, not a lot of ear hitting ingredients. There's, like, no actives, but it still somehow, like, really hydrates from the um, hyaluronic acid. And it is, the price is... Right now it's twenty two seventy one. It kind of like fluctuates, and it is one point seven six fluid ounces. And yeah, it's a super hyaluronic acid and collagen. So if you apply this, I apply this on a damp face, and the hyaluronic acid really works to like seal in the moisture. And yeah, it's nice. It's not like the my favorite all time favorite moisturizer I've ever ever tried, but for the price and for like how much you get and just how it works, it doesn't irritate my skin. I really like it. So wanted to call that out. Okay, one thing that we've been talking about for at least a year mm -hmm. is Lume deodorant. This is our favorite deodorant. Uh, it's baking soda free. It's aluminum free. Um, it says doctor developed and hypoallergenic. We buy the tube. We prefer this one. It is messier. You have to apply it with your hands, obviously, but I feel like it's more controlled. Um, the the other one that comes like with the like this same formula comes like to the top. Stick. It's just so messy. You kind of like use too much. So we prefer the tube and they now sell this on Amazon, which was so exciting to see because I hate paying for shipping, first of all. Um, and Carly had like recently purchased it. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want to pay for shipping on my own. And then I was like, I swore I could have seen that they were selling Lumi on Amazon now. And I looked and they have all the four, I think they have four mm -hmm. scents now. We still buy the original. This is the Sage and Lavender. Um, but if you've tried the other ones, let us know because they sound interesting. But we don't know like how they smell compared to this one. We like this one. Um, you get three ounces. Oh, what is the price on this? I think it's, it's like, like $20. $20. Yeah, okay. So it's $20, but the three ounces last quite a while. A while. I would say like five months. Yeah, and it's so travel friendly in the tube. Um, it, it just works. Like, we're not even like sweaty people, but this is like the only thing that really does prevent odor mm -hmm. without like giving your underarms a rash because there's no baking soda, obviously. Um, and it just lasts all day. It's easy to reapply if you need to. It's just so good. And if you're like someone like us that has been on a hunt for like the best natural deodorant. I've tried so many over years. Mm -hmm. This is the best one. Like we've just tried them all basically yeah. at this point and this is the best one. It's true. Okay, next up is something that's too big and I can't show you so I'll insert a photo, but it is the Sleeping Lamb Large Foldable 
foldable storage bag organizer, closed storage container for blankets or comforters. Um, so I got this because I knew I was getting a new bedding set and I wanted to store my old stuff for when we have guests over. And it doesn't fit under your bed because it's big. It's a big bag. <laughs> she bought it. And we were like, Carly, where are you going to put that? Yeah, it's like, big. So we put it in our closet, which it actually says, but, um, we put it in our closet, but I just really like it because it also has handles. So I think the whole point too is if you have like like garage storage yeah. or like somewhere else that you can keep your bedding and then you can easily carry it inside when you need it. But it definitely just like holds everything and it doesn't like scrunch it up so like so much that yeah. you're like worried about your bedding getting ruined kind of a thing. And it also has like a panel that's see-through so you can see what's in the bag. I just really like it. I think it's a really good deal. It um it is eleven dollars and a lot of them that I saw were like twenty dollars and they seem like weird sizes that wouldn't really fit like old bedding. So I'm just really happy with the purchase. It's kind of a random favor, but if you need bedding storage and you have space, I definitely recommend this. Okay, next up is something I know I've talked about, but I have to mention it. It's organic Tamanu oil. This is by the brand Camille Q. It's cold pressed Tamanu oil, USDA organic. I love this oil. It's my new favorite oil. I feel like it really helps. Well, it's very um, eczema friendly. So if I'm ever having like an eczema breakup, this really helps to treat it. Um, it's like a thicker oil. It does have a weird smell, I will say that. But it's a thicker oil that still absorbs into the skin. So even though it's like, it doesn't sit on top and like feel heavy, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I like to mix it with squalane when I need some like really like lock in the moisture into my skin um but this is just my favorite i just use one pump in the morning i mix it in with my moisturizer and then um i'll also use it at night and i'll mix it in with my moisturizer or just put it on top of my skin so i use it twice a day um and it just really helps to even out my complexion um uh, like sometimes i just feel like my skin just looks a little uneven you know and mm -hmm. i feel like it like almost like just gives my skin just like even skin tone it almost makes my pores look smaller I don't know if that's true I also use niacinamide so it could be that but I just feel like it gives me the most like soft healthy skin I've ever had and it doesn't clog my pores um I know Carly wasn't able to use it yeah, I was sensitive to it it burned my face so. yeah so I don't know I guess like but that's the beauty of Amazon too like it's mm -hmm. so easy to return anything and skincare is just hard like something that works for someone might not work for someone else um, but I love it. It's like my favorite oil. Like I said, I use it twice a day and it could be the only oil I use because my favorite thing about it in the morning, a lot of times I can't wear oil because it like ruins my foundation, makes things slide around. But this, like I said, it's a thicker oil so I can mix it in with my moisturizer and wear it under foundation and it just like helps make my skin look healthier and it doesn't make anything that I put on top of it like slide around. It's just like a very nice oil in that way um so definitely check it out obviously i'll link this below and then like that their page will like you can read more about tamanu oil um and leah yo has done like a great um post on tamanu oil mm -hmm. since it's the hero ingredient in her great barrier relief serum cray beauty that we also love so there's a lot of information out there on it i don't want to speak on it too much because i'm not a professional but i love it it's such a like skincare staple for me Okay, last is something that I forgot at work, so I can't show you, but I'll also insert a photo. It's the Amazon Basics Classic Lined Notebook. Um, it's $9.72, which when I bought it was $7. So it's still a good deal, though. Yeah, definitely. So if you guys are familiar with moleskin notebooks, they're kind of like that pretty, like, leather-bound notebook that's black and, like, a lot of people buy them. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of like the Amazon Basics version of that. But I was just really impressed. Like, the quality's really good. It's a great size. It is, what does it say? It's probably like five by seven. Yeah, now I can't find the size, but it's like a nice size that's not too big, not too small. Oh, 8.2 by five. So it's a great size for writing. Um, I got the lined version. So when I take notes at work and stuff, it's like really easy to use. Um, it has like a rubber, um, what do you call it? Like the rubber band that goes around it. Yeah. So like whenever I need to like save a pay to just kind of put that there. So that's really nice too. It's just really nice and good quality for how affordable it is. Like I just needed a notebook when I started my new job and I ordered this when, and like I said, it was like $7 and I was just pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this Amazon favorites video. Let us know what you've been buying on Amazon. We always need new things to mm -hmm. check out.